Being a normal teenager was never something I really felt like. To become a professional player, I mean, it would be a dream come true. It's a lot of sacrifices that I have to make. I would have to say I want my name to be amongst the greats. U.S. soccer is on the rise. Across MLS, clubs are developing the next generation of young talent with the help of Audi funding through the Goals Drive Progress Initiative. One club at the forefront of that movement is the New York Red Bulls. Their academy puts homegrown players on a pathway to success, but competition is fierce and there are no guarantees in the pursuit of a professional contract. When I'm playing soccer, no matter who or you know where I'm playing, I'm always competitive no matter what I am. I like even if it's U19, U17, USL first team, I will always be competitive because I mean everyone else there wants a pro contract and you know you gotta fight for it. I joined New York Red Bulls about three months ago. As a 16, 17, 18 year old, you, you really need to be in a pro environment because those are the prime time years of when you can develop. Uh, Red Bulls came up as an option and my family felt that it was the best choice for me at the time. Red Bulls definitely set out the pathway for players to go pro. They give us the tools that we need to succeed. It's just about the player, whether or not they can do it. Always got to push the standard a little bit higher. Always, always. Even a bad day, you're still training at a high, a high standard. It's intense. You know, uh, the, we forget that these kids are so young and we're, we're trying to make them young professionals. Austin Brummett, finding a kid like that um, is saying that we got the recruiting right, you know, and, and, and the whole organization that was behind bringing him in uh, definitely, you know, went above and beyond to make sure this was the right fit for us and then we're reaping those benefits because now that he's here, he exemplifies all that we want. When you get your opportunity, you go out there and showcase yourself. I joined the Red Bulls about four years ago, the U13 level, and moved my way up from there. I started playing soccer when I was like three. My dad, he, um, he had a team in town, and I would go with him all the time, you know, my little cleats. I would just practice with his team. I just fell in love with it right away. We have a lot of good coaches here, um, top-notch training, uh, great green preparation. I love competition, you know? I think I'm a pretty competitive person. Anybody that knows me knows that. I think I do thrive in um, competitive uh, atmospheres, and that's what we have here. Most of these guys are talented enough to get a sniff at some sort of professional uh, environment. So a kid within our club like Serge and Goma, who's been with us since since uh, uh, such a young age, and, and we're seeing him just develop um, and gives everything every single day. Be patient. What do we have here number-wise? Oh, good idea. We'll play from keeper. I think New York Red Bulls is probably the, the best in class uh, in North America in regards to the youth system. Our youth programs is, is second to none. The pathway here is very clear. Um, we've, we're very fortunate, obviously, in this area. There's a, you know, a lot of depth and quality and talent. I firmly believe we're, we're getting the best players in the tri-state area, and now we're starting to, to go kind of nationally. Audi have allowed us to, to really take big steps and move the needle from that regard and they've been hugely important for us getting the home state program, bringing in basically out of market top talents. Um, the transportation pieces, along with SALA and, and kind of having flexible schedules, which are also the education piece is huge for us because we professionalized the 17s and 19s age groups. Uh, and again, Audi's played a massive part in that. They're moments away from their first substitutions as we watch Davis, his curling shot! Sean Davis, money from distance! Yeah, every, everything's evolved as uh, you know it should and it's really exciting to see the youth soccer landscape in the country now and you know I'm proud that Red Bull's at the forefront of that and you know just seeing things where they were when I was in the academy versus uh, you know the facilities um, the professionalism that the academy has now I think it goes a long way in um, you know again making this real for the, the youth players and giving them this platform to grow and excel and you know, make that jump to USL and to the first team. And you know, I think by investing in, in the academy, I think it's great for our community. It's also great for the club and it's great for the future of, of US soccer. Just the opportunities that, that Red Bulls provide, um, just resources, um, you know, really just the openness to, to want to, to strive for more for our academy uh, is, is really unmatched for players to be able to go through our academy to USL, to first team. It just creates the opportunities in the pathway that, um, that really allows uh, those players to be able to, to move up the organization. Today I signed the New York Rebels 2 USL Championship contract. Um, it feels amazing because this is what you work for when you're 
a young, coming from a young age, U13, playing for New York Rebels Academy, it's, it's what you look up to. And to see how I've made my way through the, through the steps of the academy, it feels good. And I'm very happy to, to sign. Each individual has their goals. Success when it comes to my responsibilities is how many kids have, have signed professional. You've had success when you've pressed. Everybody should have energy about that, but you've got to read them cues and then you've got to go together with energy. We play Jackson, a local men's team, call this kind of uh, resiliency games because you're playing against men, against former pros. So I think this is just a great game for, uh, for our young guys to be a part of. Yeah, Liam, Liam, exactly, right, well done. I saw a quote from Usain Bolt that says he he worked four years to run nine seconds, and some people quit after only working for four months. It can't happen overnight. You have to continue to work on it and work on it all the time. We try to create a culture where you know it's a privilege for them to be here, right? The support that they get, and obviously being a part of this unbelievable organization is an absolute privilege, and to not waste any minute, waste any day, um, because there's always somebody else knocking on the door waiting to take your spot. Um, it's a pressure that we want them to embrace and want them to thrive upon because you're good enough, you're old enough. The New York Red Bulls Academy players are embarking on a defining season. With the legacy of COVID-19 still impacting their schedule, every training session and match is an opportunity they must take to impress. Next time on the Academy, we'll see the fight to progress continue with NYRB two places up for grabs while another testing resiliency game gives one young hopeful a taste of glory.